wait to become heavenly people when you reach to the heavens, too late. Because in reality, we are heavenly people before we come into this world. Because we came from, not from us fala safilin, we came from a higher a world that we were created in perfection. People are now preparing for Ramadan. In the way of tariqat, it is too late now to prepare for Ramadan. You should prepare for Ramadan at least in the three holy months, beginning of the three holy months. To start thinking, to start putting certain things away, to start understanding, to start making more meditation, more tafakkur, to understand what is this meaning. Because the holy days and nights that is coming in the holy months, it's supposed to do that to you. It's supposed to pull you back from whatever that you are doing dunya-wise and for you to understand the night of Ragaib, to understand what it is, to ask. Hmm? What else? The night of Miraj, to understand where we are going to go, where we are destination is. The night of Barat, how it's going to affect us from the heavens to here. What we want how we are going to be in this world for the coming year. So everything is supposed to make us to think. And everything is pointing to the fact that we have to chain up our what? Our ego. We have to chain up our shaitan. We have to pull back on our desire. We have to look at this dunya and to put our heart away from this dunya. If you are hoping to do that in the month of Ramadan, which Allahu Allah, the people are coming to the month of Ramadan with these kinds of understanding because today's people understanding of Ramadan is I'm going to fast and then later I'm going to cook and I'm going to eat. Oh, Ramadan means I'm going to enjoy, uh, I'm going to buy so many things and then later uh, I'm going to celebrate. There is that part of Ramadan, yes. But for a believer, we're not looking at the dunya part of Ramazan. We're looking to the ahirat part of Ramazan. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, when you break your fast, you're so happy. The ego gets very happy. Because now finally you're eating. That happiness is just to give you a little bit of understanding when you meet me, Allah is saying, on judgment day. That happiness, there is just a little bit of taste for you to know. When you meet me on the Day of Judgment, then you understand that that is the time you're making the breaking of your fast. That is your iftar. That is, you are starving yourself now from that holy association. And now on the Day of Judgment, now it is broken for you. That fast is broken. You are there now. Now, for the believer, who else is there? Tell them they should go and rest. Huh? It's a go quickly. Go sleep there. So now entering into the month of Ramadan, we should be prepared now because the holy month is already making us to pull back, pull back, pull back. Now we are ready. Month of Ramadan, you are ready to do what it is and the blessings are going to come. What are the blessings? If we say, what are the blessings today? So many people are going to take the blessings. Oh, I got this job, a big blessing. I got this money, big blessing. I have this. Everything is related to your desires and to the world again. Yes, if Allah gives you, it is a blessing. But there is a blessing that is beyond this world too. There's a blessing that you have to understand whether Allah is giving me this dunya or not. I'm not aiming for that, for my happiness. I'm aiming to be released from what is chaining me. What is chaining us? What is pulling ourselves back? This is when you are understanding hmm, my ego chaining me. One chain from here. My nafs chaining me. Shaitan putting one lock here. Dunya one. My desire is one. I'm chaining. Now I'm understanding what these chains are. 
in the months, the holy nights and holy days, making me to understand, think a little bit more. Because these are holy times, they're not like regular times. Then you say, okay, only way that I can enjoy Ramazan, to get the freedom of my spirit in Ramazan, is when not only I break these chains, but now my shaitan will be chained, my ego will be chained. The dunya is going to be chained, my desires are going to be chained, and I'm going to be free. Free from that to have a taste of it in the month of Ramazan. How many are preparing to look at it that way? Yes. So many are saying, Ramazan now, it is to stay from food and drink. It is true. We have to. That is the level of shariat. We have to keep that. But that is still at the animal level. It is the animal self that needs the food and the drink. Now what does it mean now that you are going to starve your ego? You're going to starve your shaitan. Are we understanding what it is? So now you're coming to Ramazan. Ramazan, eat. Eat. The meaning, celebrate. We did something, so we must celebrate. So how we celebrate, we clean everything up. Believers are saying we're not going to wait for Eid to clean everything up. We're going to clean it in the month of Ramazan. We're going to clean everything. We're going to make everything nice and clean so that the angels may come and visit us 24 hours because now there's no shaitan. Well, those who are a bit more intelligent, they are going to say, that is the physical cleaning of the house. What about this house? This house, even if you scrub it with a brillo, even if you clean, but if the heart is still dirty, <coughs> if we are not understanding what is that dirtiness, then it is going to carry through holy days and holy nights, Eid or Bayram. It is still going to be there, but there is no preparation. There is no cleanliness. There is no fixing. So now, Shah Afandi said in a sohbat to care. <laughs> what they're saying in this country? Sharing is caring, to share. Hmm. Which, what are we going to say about that, sharing? What are you sharing? Everyone is very free sharing their problems. Whenever they have problems, they share. Anyone who wants to listen, they share. Which is not Islamic. But when it comes to their happiness, like what we're saying, you're not sharing. Huh? Why? That is your happy face? You're not sharing. At least smile. Why is that? Hmm. So in here, we're not talking about just, it is, yes, it is the month of zakat. It is a month of charity. But if we're taking charity, not the physical charity, the charity, the generosity, <coughs> that you are ge uh, generous with your spirit, now that time, you are going to show the face of a happy servant, not the face of an unhappy servant. Oh, but I'm not happy with myself. Then show your ugly, sad face to yourself. Take mirror, see, oh, this is, oh, this is very sad. I'm very bad, my ego is so bad. So show to yourself until you say, this is actually, let me look a little bit better. No one wants to look into a mirror and look at themselves and make themselves worse. None. Always looking, even if you're ugly, so okay, now I'm better. 
Né? Mano. Are we looking at ourselves? Properly? How generous are we to show the happy face of a happy servant to Allah? To show ourselves that we are unhappy by ourselves, but the rest, to share not our unhappiness or not our anger or not our stubbornness, but to show, to be generous. Hmm? To be generous with that. This is uh, old ways. You see the man, weight of the world is crushing him, but he's still smiling. You see this lady going through so much trouble, she's still smiling. We're asking, how are you? Allah kirim. And they mean it too. Allah gives and Allah takes. They're happy. They're showing that. And they're not being fake. Time is gone. Allah giving so much in every direction. One direction he's not giving for our own good. We get so angry and so rebellious. That's the only thing you're going to show now. So how are you going to be generous? First be generous to each other. Don't say I'm being generous to Allah. Allah is the Lord of generosity. Allah doesn't need us to be generous to Him. He's not in need of nothing. He's always saying, be generous to each other. Look to each other's needs. Maybe this one needs some words. Maybe this one just needs some boosting. Maybe this one needs a little pepper. This is when you're going to look at each other and start forming a jamaat, forming an ummat. Now, when you form this ummat with this kind of thing, your heart starts to move, not just to you, but to others, that when that one is hurting, you will hurt too. That the believer is one body. Now it's just separated. You feel very strong for yourself, you don't feel for nothing, for no one. It should not be like that. Take this Ramazan, the caring, the sharing, the generosity. It is not about food. It is not about getting together, having good time. It is part of it, but that is not the point. If there is no food, if there is no good time, there is no Ramazan. The Prophet used to break his fast, والسلام, and to have his dinner with one, one date. Eating that to break their fast, him and the Sahabi Kiram, eating one date, breaking their fast and making the intention after that date to start the fast again. And they were the most happy ones to each other and to their Lord. They were not miserable. Where we learn this? Huh? Where we learn this? To be miserable when we are serving our Lord. Not from the prophets. Not from the Sahabi Kiram. Not from the Awliya Allah. Yeah, we learn from other wrong ones. So yeah. What you're going to do now? Start looking. Caring. Look beyond and thinking. Everyone looks and thinks and cares for themselves. Very good. They're teaching us especially. For yourself, you must. Then if you have, for your family, that's it. Not for community, not for the ummah. We're looking at neighbors and community and ummah 
not how West is putting it, according to how Allah and his Prophet is putting it. Yes, it is a very high standard. But that standard was there for over a thousand years. We just lost it. It is in us. We just forgot it. It has to be reminded to us. We have this opportunity now, living here. Take it. Not too many have this chance. Now you're going to see, I cannot do this, but let me at least do this. I cannot do this, let me do this. But always you're going to say, what I didn't do it. I'm not comfortable because I didn't do. I'm going to find something to do. This thing requires ten things. I cannot do ten. Let me do nine. Let me do five. Let me do one. They get very upset when they say they're not even giving one. And they just close their eyes and turn their face for months. Letting things to pass. They're so caught up in their own thing and they're not watching it. That's when not good. No one is saying you should do everything. No one is saying you should do everything 100%. But you're going to use your intelligence and to share that intelligence and to say, I cannot do this, let me find this, let me do this, let me do this, let me do this. You're not just going to sit and say, what can I do? I'm so busy. I have this, I have this, I have this, I'm so busy. No. You think we are more busy than the Sahabi Kiram? That we are taking them to be our role models? You think we are more busy than what the Evliya Allah are? Whatever we're busy with, prayer. Put your head down in sajda and give shukur. We're busy with the blessings of Allah. Allah could make us to be busy with the difficulties. Is not. Millions of people, they are busy with their difficulties. We are busy with the blessings. Still, we are complaining. Get your heart to work. This is important for Ramazan. Get your heart to work. Yes, after this, people are going to say, fall into a routine too. But you're going to shake yourself up. You're going to say, okay, I do this. Let me do this other thing. I cannot do this. I didn't do this. Let me do this. Once your heart starts working, the doors will start opening. The honor will descend on you. You are figuring things out by yourself. Your heart is going to be connected in that time. Then that time you don't need you are not at the level of a donkey where if the stick is taken and the stick is hit and then that's the time you're going to go. When you're not hit with a stick, the donkey doesn't go. You have to hit it again, then it goes. It goes. People are going. But we are not donkeys. Why is it necessary for this? And this is all good times. This is all blessings. This is not difficulty. Yeah. They teach a lot in this country especially how to be spoiled. That the blessings you are saying, ah, oh, this is so difficult. May Allah wake us up for this Ramazan that is coming to open our heart. To be less busy with our ego and with this dunya and to be more busy with what is pleasing to Allah and His Prophet. To give us more energy and to give us more strength to run in that way. We're asking for forgiveness for all our shortcomings for the sake of the Holy Ones, for the sake of Sahih Sahib, inshaAllah. Al-Fatiha. <laughs>